traveler here and I am in a place called Martinez. It is in the north of Buenos Aires, another barrier. And basically this blog is not a uh, travel blog. This is a daily blog. And basically today we are going to meet up with Bella's friend called Julio. And we are planning a trip to the north of Argentina. And basically this is going to be an amazing experience because none of us have been to um, Bolivia. So basically guys, we are planning to go to North Argentina for two weeks from February the 2nd to February the 19th. So it's a two week journey and hopefully it's going to be very interesting. And we are going to go all the way to the North. Fingers crossed, we are going to meet up with some indigenous people in the North of Argentina. And I'll be able to interview them and ask them certain questions about what it's like, what, about what it's like to be indigenous um, in Argentina and obviously um, get certain experiences to share with you guys and then the journey will go all the way to Bolivia the last part of the journey is going to be in La Paz and we will be doing a cross-border video but today we are going to um, plan this today Bella she's right over there I don't know if you guys can see her <laughs> so we are going to plan this today and hopefully it's going to be amazing. Yes, there's a lot of things happening right now during the pandemic. Hello, YouTube. Hi. <laughs> yes, there's a lot of things going on right now. Hola. There's a lot of things going on right now during the pandemic, but hopefully we ain't going to have no problems. I'm going to continue this video as soon as we get to the place where we're going to meet Julio. And yes, it will be interesting. Like I said, it is not a travel blog. It's a daily blog of Black Man the Traveler in Argentina. Ciao. See you soon. Boom. Right, so we've got to the restaurant. We are late. Black timing. Everybody that knows, black people never come on time. But um, we're in this restaurant. That is the restaurant there. And uh, we're going to sit down. I have, don't have a map. I should have bought the map, but I don't have the map. But I don't know where. How are we going to plan this? Julio's right over here. Hola, well, amigo. Amigo, ¿cómo estás? Todo bien. This is Julio, my amigo from Argentina. Right, so we're going to um, we're going to sit down. Lo siento. Sorry about the timing. Sorry. <laughs> so um, we're going to we're going to we're going to plan this journey, and um, we're going to get some something to eat. We're in a, a restaurant called. Daily Club, it's located somewhere in Martinez, they do some amazing sandwiches and they do some amazing food. So we're going to plan this thing today and it's going to be interesting. Julio, are you muy feliz for the trip to the Norte of Argentina? And you're muy feliz for the trip to Bolivia? Muy, muy excited. Muy excited? So he's very excited to go to the trip to Northern Argentina and he's very excited to go to the uh, um, to go to Bolivia. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get some food, we're gonna write some stuff down, we're gonna plan and the video will continue. This is a very good restaurant to go to guys, it's called Daily Club. That's the menu that I have for today. Alright guys, the video is going to continue as soon as we start planning. See you guys soon. Right, home is here, Bella and Sofia. So we are, we are planning the journey. Por bien? Oh, right, so this is the map that you guys can see. But my camera's a bit fucked. So we are going to be here, going all the way to the north. No, no. So I'm going to walk around, show you guys. So she's going to check the prices. What's the situation? What's the situation? Bueno, we're just checking on two different um, websites. Okay. We have first flybondi.com and then we have Jetsmart. Uh -huh. And yeah, those two, there's airlines that they travel around the country. So yeah. right now I'm just checking like which is the best option is to go here from Buenos Aires to Jujuy and then cross the border from Jujuy to Bolivia. Right. Sophie, you've never been you've never been to the north of Argentina before. Would you recommend anyone to go to the north of Argentina? So you don't like it's too hot? Yeah. 
too hot for me. Sorry. Alright, so no, Bella's checking okay, prices. Okay. So okay. Bella said that she's um she's she's checking the prices. Sophie said that she wouldn't go because it's too hot. And this is the prices that you it's guys like can see right pounds. now. Fifty pounds. From Buenos Aires to Hujuy. So that like, you guys don't know about the prices. These are a bit cheaper. That's Argentine pesos. And how much is that equivalent to in pound sterling in or pounds, it's forty something. Forty something. Forty something. What is that? Like a two-hour flight. The south is better. For me, yes. Would you okay. go? I mean, I don't mind. Yeah, but what about Bolivia? That you <laughs> For me, I don't mind to go anywhere in Argentina. I don't mind going to the south. I don't mind going to the north. Muy tranqui. Right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right. What did you say? Speak for the camera, speak for the camera, speak for the camera. Just just point here. All right. And I'm so what do we do? Here are the requirements when we cross from Jujuy in yeah. La Quiaca yeah. to Villazón in Bolivia. Okay. It's actually three things that they're asking right now. What's that? The negative PCR. Yeah. The second step is like two doses of the vaccine. Okay, so you need to be double jabbed. Double jabbed. You need to have a negative PCR test. Correct. Within how many hours does the PCR test have to be negative? It doesn't say, but we have to double check, maybe 48 hours. Okay, so 48 hours, that's about two so days. So probably we get it here in Buenos Aires. By okay. the time we get there, it's going to be fine. And then uh, travel, travel insurance. Travel insurance. Uh, that covers COVID-19. Okay. Any preguntas you want to ask, Julio? ¿Qué preguntas? No preguntas. No preguntas. Sofía, ¿any uh, preguntas you want to add? ¿Cómo, the... ¿Cómo van a ir? How are we going to go? How are we going to go? Right, that is a good question. So right now, I don't know how we're going to go right now because um, we are planning. To answer Sofía's pregunta is, my opinion is to take public transportation. The reason why is because when you travel in another country, public transportation is the best way to travel around the country. But Bella said to me that when you take a bondi, bondi means bus in Spanish. When you take a bondi, apparently it's very expensive. So the best way to go to Jujuy is to take a flight. And, and plus it's longer, you know, in the bus you take what? From here to Jujuy, probably 18 hours. Okay. And flying you just take, let me say, let me see here, two hours and 30 minutes. And 20 minutes. So, so from you Jujuy, save money and time. From Jujuy, would you like to um, hitchhike? You wouldn't mind hitchhiking? It would be good. Would you would you hitchhike in Argentina? Yeah, in the north, not in the city. Sofia, would you A hitchhike in Argentina? Por qué? No. Not safe. In the north, Sí. Si con ustedes, sí, hola, sola, no. y, like here in Argentina, for women it's not safe to do it, even for guys. But in terms of like, if we are all together, the three of us should be fine. So, prices are here. Sofia is pouring the hugo. Bella's checking the prices, and Julio is writing down all the information on a piece of paper, and he's got his nice stola, uh, stola antoa, cerveza, no, bivisha, cerveza, birra. Birba. Birra. 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 Franca. Birra. Right. My Spanglish is a bit uh, un poco, but um, I'm going to walk down over here. One second. Sorry. So basically, guys, as you guys, as what they said is basically, Bella's writing down the information. Um, no, Bella's checking the flight details um, to go to the north. Sophia is um, Bella's sister and she's just explaining uh, the full details of actually um, why she shouldn't go to the north. Julio is writing down all the information on the piece of paper. So basically, apparently the cheapest way to travel in Argentina right now is to fly um, to another state. And then, so basically what the plan is originally is that we were meant to actually take a bus from Buenos Aires all the way to the north, past Rosero, which is where um, it is a port city. And then from Rosero, it was meant to go all the way to Cordoba, towards uh, Tucumán, and then cross border to Bolivia. So what we are going to do now is that we are going to fly from Buenos Aires all the way to Tucumán. And then we probably got to stay there for one or two days in Tucumán and then from there we're probably going to hitchhike. That will be an amazing experience. I have hitchhiked in Buenos Aires before. It was a crazy experience. I didn't, I didn't get that far, but I did get to a random 
part of Buenos Aires or like a random barrio, which was um, very interesting. So we are going to plan this journey. Fingers crossed, we're all going to agree. And then we're going to come to some sort of agreement today. And then after that, the journey will be con then the journey will happen on the 2nd of February until the 19th of February. So for two weeks exactly. It is going to be super hot. So like she said, you need a negative PCR test. We don't know the dates for a negative PCR test. You need to be double jabbed to enter Bolivia and you need to have travel insurance. That is very important, especially when you come to Latin America, you need to have travel insurance. Because when I came to Argentina, I never had travel insurance. I tried to dodge it. But um, I got my travel insurance when I was in the airport and I paid for my travel insurance, so that was very important. So right now we're still planning. And yeah guys, like I said, if this is not a travel vlog. Sophia's beautiful dog, Apollo. <laughs> so yeah, right now we are right now we are planning and I will um, continue this video as soon as we uh, come to some sort of um, agreement. Ciao.